Hey YouTube, so I have a quick look for you guys. Um, this is not actually my own, well, part of it. The eyes were actually inspired by Lauren Luke. I was watching one of her videos today, um, and I really liked um, the eyeshadow that she had. So it was like um, um, a gray with yellow. So it turned out really nice. Um, I didn't follow her on the lips and the cheeks. Kind of did my own thing. Um, if you want to see this, just keep on watching. And next I'm going to put some um, concealer on, but this is actually foundation, the Eve Pro Cream Foundation Trio. And I, I'm going to use the medium right here for myself. I'm using a 224 to apply this. So for concealers, the main places that you need to focus on would be around the nose here, it gets red, um, on the corners of the eyes and under the eyes, I use a different concealer for that, um, the sides of the mouth too, and then any blemishes or whatnot that you have. Okay, so I'm finished spot concealing my face. Um, most of the redness is gone. Pretty happy with it. I don't really put too much, I don't like to put too much foundation on. So that's why I usually use powder foundation. Um, the kind that I use, it's by Jane Iredell. This is my color here, it's warm silk, it's pretty light. But I do have another one that I use in combination with this. So this is the one that I use warm silk and I also use another one it's called golden glow and that's about it for my foundation so I'm priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion here I already have the Urban Decay Primer Potion on the lids set about maybe five minutes now I'm gonna go in with um, NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk this is just a white I'll put this all over my eye and blend it out with my finger you could always use a brush for this part if you don't like using your fingers I just like using this um, just because the warmth of my hand kind of melts it a little bit and it makes it easier to blend. This is my one of my sugar pill palettes and I will be using the yellow right there. It's a matte yellow. So I'm just going to apply this with my MAC 239 brush here. So I pretty much pack it onto my lid and I kind of slowly fade it up. Just blend it so it's not a harsh line. Okay, now with my 209 brush, it's just a pencil brush, I'm going to grab another matte color and it's going to be this one right here. It's a pro color, it's called Soot. So I have a little bit on my brush. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the bottom, lower lash line. And then just like Lauren did, I'm going to bring it up and deepen the outer V. This is a little bit trickier on my eyes just because um, I don't have hooded, well, it's kind, I kind of have hooded eyes. If um, if you watch Corin on Corin, I kind of have the same um, kind of, but not really. I do have a crease, but like for him, if he relaxes his eyes like this, like you can barely see it right now. You can barely see it. If I go like this, you can see the crease more. Um, so it's kind of in between a heavy lid and maybe a monolid. Um, 
So what I do is I bring, for the outer V, I bring it a little bit higher, just so when my eyes are like this, you can kind of see just a little bit of the gray. Okay, and as this is just for placement. I'm gonna blend it out um, in a second. But just this, I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other eye. Um, next step is I'm not gonna keep it all matte like Lauren did so I'm gonna add a bit of shimmer so this is from Naked Cosmetics here and this is from the shock effect um, stack and this is number one I got this when Corin posted um, his little deal um, what I use for pigments and loose powders and such is I just use one of these it's from the art store. It's a 10 well watercolor palette. Really cheap. I'm pretty sure it's under five bucks. But I just like it um, instead of using my steel palette because the steel palettes are just flat. So these with the little wells, I think it's a little bit easier when I have pigments and such like that. And I'm just gonna use the same 239 brush that I have. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop it on the center of my lid. I do have a small area, so. That's why I don't need that much. I'm also going to take the soot one more time and just darken the corners. Take the blending brush and just blend that through one more time. Here's that. Now, it looks kind of funny because I don't have anything on the top here, so I'm just going to take this is my absolute favorite what I'm gonna use. So this is from Ulta. It's from um, the professional line and this one is called the wide shadow brush. So with this here I'm just gonna take a little bit of the shadow and I'm just gonna place it under the brow bone and sweep it down a little bit on the inner corner of the eye. And then also over here and blend. Make sure the yellow is blended so it's not a weird harsh line or anything like that. I'm gonna clean up the sides as needed. That's it for the eyeshadow for now. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put some liner on. This one's in perversion. It's the matte black liquid liner. there's the wing that I have. I'm going to go ahead and just do it on the other side here. So now I'm done with the liner. What I'm going to do now is pop a little bit of the yellow, yellow shimmer on the inner corner and right under here. So I'm not happy with the way the lower lash line is. So with my 209 brush again, I'm going to go and put some more soot under the eyes. For the lips, I already put my um, moisturizer on. I actually use, it's my favorite, Pores Lip Butter or Pores Lip Butter. I'm gonna line my lips with hodgepodge. With 
with the show orchid. Um, on top of that, it looks um, it looks kind of purpley, to be honest. Um, it doesn't show up in the camera. I'm